guys I know it's been a long time you might not recognize his face if you're new here or you've just forgotten hi I'm Rachel it's been a long time since I've vlogged and or shared a video I think it was March I did an, uh, an Easter decorating video so definitely before Easter was the last time I posted and a lot has happened since then in the world in life in general just time has gone on but I have been seeing a lot of your messages saying when are you gonna post another video can you vlog about this that or the other I miss your vlogs I miss your videos and I've missed talking to you guys too it's one of those things where you can miss doing something and at the same time I guess not feel comfortable or confident in, in yourself to do that thing it's this weird dichotomy I guess but um, I I guess told myself that I was going to pick up the camera this weekend. It's actually Friday. I have the day off and I'm going to try and vlog over the next couple of days. I don't know what kind of content I'll have to share with you because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. I'm really not doing that much. I'm pretty much working from home still and um, I don't have a lot of plans, but I'm going to vlog what I can and you guys always assure me that you don't mind my boring life vlogs so hopefully you'll enjoy this one and I can just give you guys a bit of an update and you guys can update me on your life in the comments because I miss hearing about what you're up to and what you're loving and what you're doing so I just had a shower I got up exercise did my thing this morning and I need to dry my hair which is why I'm looking like a bit of a state but I haven't done my skincare yet and I'm gonna bring you into my bathroom is why the lighting has changed um, I don't know where I'm gonna put you let's just try here I'm really not set up for vlogging so bear with me I feel like there's a lot of products that I want to share with you guys this was originally a beauty based channel and over the last few months I've been I guess concentrating more on skincare than makeup because I haven't been going anywhere. There's a bit of dust. And um, I don't really wear makeup that much, but I do make sure I'm trying to look after my skin the best that I can. So a couple of products that I've been loving. For the daytime, it's, it's definitely a lot of vitamin C based stuff. Um, I got sent this a while back. It's the Biolumin C Eye Serum from Dermalogica. It was a new launch earlier in the year. And it's just a really nice eye serum that is vitamin C based. It's really lightweight, very emollient. And it just seems to, I guess, brighten my under eyes a little bit. I don't have, I definitely have dark circles. It's not my like, biggest concern, but um, I do obviously want to try and minimize that as much as possible so that I can look awake. I have a lot of video calls at the moment um, because working from home we are basically all using Microsoft Teams a lot at work and every time that we have a meeting we now pretty much have to have the camera on so while I don't do full makeup every day I do like to have my skin looking nice and fresh so I use this one and then I have a couple of vitamin C kind of face products that I'll use one is the Ren Radiance Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel Cream. This one's from Mecca. I've got like a little travel size. This was a sample from Mecca Land, I think, last year. But I really like this one because it's one of the few vitamin C products that I've used that plays well under makeup. Vitamin C is one of those ingredients that's actually quite hard to formulate from what I can tell based on all the reading <laughs> that I've done, reading articles and blogs from people who actually know what they're talking about because I'm not a scientist or a chemist so I don't know that much but what I pick up from what other people share but I know it's it's uh, not a very stable ingredient so for whatever reason the texture of a lot of vitamin C products isn't that great and I find that a lot of them would ball up under makeup or moisturizer if I put something else over the top which I do I usually at least very least sunscreen so that one just I don't know it just blends into the skin really nicely it's not heavy it's definitely that gel texture the other one that I've been using is a new one that I picked up I think during a Priceline 40% off sale and I believe it's it's a new line to a then it's the a oxidative smoothing water cream they also have a serum and again I think these have some form of vitamin C in it I usually don't use both I usually use one or the other but since I just pumped some out I'm going to put this on as well 
and it's very hydrating, just like a light moisturizer essentially. And no, it just makes my skin feel very fresh. The other Ben product that I've been using quite a bit, and sometimes I use it in the morning, sometimes I use it at night, is the Clenance Com Comedome? Comed? Com oh, I should have worked out how to say this before I um, talked about it. But anyway, it's the anti blemish anti blemishes concentrate. I am still very much acne prone and I get a lot of congestion around my chin, around my nose and this area and here. I get blackheads, I have enlarged pores, it's not fun. I'm in my 30s, I wish I was done with that, but I'm not. So this one's been really nice. It again has a hydrating element to it, but it's also anti-blemish, which is great. It's has quite a strong alcohol smell which might turn some people off but it dissipates really quickly and for whatever reason my skin is really enjoying it so I've been enjoying that one too. I grabbed that from Chemist Warehouse when they were having a sale and um, definitely would recommend other quick nighttime products I guess I can share with you guys since we're talking recent skincare loves. Um, I'm using again the Ulla Henriksen Transform Plus Good Night Glow Retin Alt Sleeping Cream. This is a great retinol alternative product that's very easy to use it's i kind of use it a bit like um a, a bit like a moisturizer like an anti-aging moisturizer at night it smells amazing it has ahas in it as well it's yeah an anti an age fighting facial cream is how they describe it and i really enjoy it it's one that i can use every night i do use a prescription retinol and um i can't use this every single night i have kind of gotten my skin used to retinols but it is something that you do have to work yourself into if you are looking at trying them um my friend michelle uh, lab muffin beauty science i hope i've gotten that name right on instagram and youtube she also has a blog and she has a really great article on how to introduce um, retinols into your skincare if you haven't before to try and avoid some of that retinization um, process and experience that some people have where you get dry and flaky skin and other issues. So I'll try and link that in the description if I can because it's a really great article and she just is really knowledgeable about skincare. She is a um, chemist so she knows all her stuff would recommend checking her out. I'm trying to think what else I've got sitting here. Oh. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, the <laughs> other product that just almost fell in the bin is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I use this pretty much every day. My skin is quite um, used to using acid, so I use that as an exfoliant along with the Clear Skincare 2% Salicylic Toner. This one is from Priceline and I think it's great. I'm trying to think what else I've got sitting in here skincare wise that I've been using a lot lately. I've just got back into the Isle of Paradise self tanning drops now that it's getting warmer here in Australia and I'm not wearing a lot of makeup on my face. I like the idea of having a bit of a tan on my um, skin to just I guess even out the skin tone and you know make me look a little bit more put together. This is awesome for that and it's obviously a lot safer than actually tanning. You should be wearing sunscreen every day. I do, it's in my um, makeup setup. I use the uh, ultraviolet sunscreen or the Neutrogena water gel one. They're my two sort of favorite face sunscreens. And then the other moisturizer that I've been using sometimes in the nighttime, sometimes in the daytime is this Paula's Choice Clinical Ceramide Enriched Firming Moisturizer for all skin types. This is just a great like all rounder type moisturizer that again find works well and plays well with other products that I layer it with and yeah that's that's my skincare for the day except for lip balm my favorite the Laneige lip sleeping mask which I don't use just for sleeping I basically use all the time I just realized that I probably just spoken for like 10 minutes on skincare this is a great start to the vlog, Rachel. But anyway, if you were curious about some of my current skincare favorites, I should have prepared this earlier, but you have them there.
now, looking slightly less crazy and a little bit more put together. content um, Friday has become my washing day it actually always was my washing day but if I was at the office I would have to do it in the evenings um, whereas now since I've been working from home for like, almost six months now which is just crazy um, I can do it in the day kind of around my work which I find to be super convenient it's really nice being able to get most of my chores done I guess on Thursday and Friday is when I, I do the bulk of them so then I don't have to worry about them on the weekend. I don't know if you're straight, I feel like I have to stand really far away from the camera. This day of vlogging is not going at all how I had planned it. Um, my battery died and then I thought I would try and import some of the footage and then that wouldn't work. So I thought I needed to update my computer, so I started to do that, and then that took a lot longer than I expected it to. And then my dad came over and we went to take a um, whole bunch of recycling that I have been collecting for probably like six months to the Return and Earn um, place. For those of you who maybe are outside of Australia or um, just aren't aware of this, but the government pays, oh. man, come on, focus, find me again. I'm sorry, I'm so out of practice. All right, I definitely need a new camera too, but it's um, not extra money that I have right now to spend. But yes, like I was saying, the government basically gives you 10 cents for certain um, cans, glass bottles and um, plastic bottles. I don't know why I couldn't think of it then. So I usually collect the ones that I either use and so does my family and I also will pick them up if I'm you know, walking around. I do a lot of walks and runs and things like that. You guys know that. So sometimes I'll take a bag with me and just pick up the recyclables. One, because it's good for the environment and two, because it's extra money that can help me. So. We went and did that, um, it was fun. I hadn't been to one of like the bulk places before, which is essentially, whereas instead of putting it in a machine yourself, you go to like a warehouse type thing and it gets processed for you. So we did that and now it's, it's almost one o'clock, it is one o'clock. So I thought, I'm gonna keep at this vlogging thing. I am very tempted and I've had days like this before where it doesn't go well to begin with and then I just give up and there's so much footage um, that it would exist of me of days of started vlogs that just never came to fruition. So I'm not going to give up today. I am going to make myself some lunch, which is what I'm in the middle of doing just because uh, hangry Rachel is not a fun Rachel to be around. And then I might quickly walk across to TK Maxx to have a look at what Halloween stuff they have in because the Halloween stuff has been trickling in to stores but my local hasn't had it. I know because I've seen other people sharing shops on Instagram but mine has been a little bit um, low on the old Halloween stuff so I'm hoping that they get a little bit more in and I will definitely show you what I've already put out around my apartment. You may have already spotted it in the background. I realize I've got the chicken. Um, I already have decorated for Halloween to an extent. And I do that so I stop myself from buying too much other Halloween stuff because I really shouldn't buy much more even though I'm talking about going to the shops to try and buy more. Anyway, um, so I will show you what I've already put out but most of the stuff that you will see is stuff that I already had from previous years. I have secretly purchased a couple of new things, so I will show you those. And I think Big W also has their Halloween stuff out, which I don't usually buy for inside, but sometimes I have cool stuff that I would decorate the house, my parents' house with. So I might do that just for, for fun. 
Um, sorry, I'm doing this on a scale because I currently track my calories that I eat, not for, I probably should say this is a trigger warning because I know that, you know, sometimes talking about food does affect people. So if that does affect you, maybe switch off now for a short period of time. Um, but yeah, I don't restrict myself in what I eat at all, but I just found that I had put on weight and I just wasn't comfortable in my clothes or my body in general. And I don't really care how much I weigh. It's more about how I feel and how I fit and, you know, just, you know, wanting to be feel good. So I do that. I don't stop myself from what I eat, but I do just sort of look at what I'm eating. And if I eat, you know, foods that have a lot of calories, then I'll eat healthier stuff at other parts of the day. And I just try and stick to like an overall amount for the entire day. Um, so right now I'm making a corn fins sandwich with hummus, um, like deli meat, chicken, and a piece of cheese and cucumber slices, which is my go-to lunch, not only during the week, but also often on weekends as well if I'm home because I just genuinely really, really like it. And I tend to be not a big foodie. I've said that before. I will eat, if I like something, I'll just eat it over and over again because it's easy and convenient and I got into a routine with food as well. So I am just going to plate this up with me. I've got carrot sticks out, but I might save them for when I get back from the shops because I did have a late breakfast while I was waiting for the battery to recharge and for the computer to sort itself out. It doesn't look the most appealing, but honestly, it tastes really good. At least to me, it does. So I'm going to enjoy this and probably watch a little bit of TV since it is technically my day off and I'm kind of stressing about vlogging which i shouldn't be doing um because i'm really just gosh why can't i even get in shot i have my arms shrunk i feel like my arms have shrunk i can't am i zoomed in what is going on no i'm not zoomed in i'm just very out of practice yeah so i'm gonna watch some tv eat my lunch and then i might take you guys to the shops with me if i can i don't know about vlogging in public that's gonna be that's that's next level so we'll see how we go I just finished lunch and I was going to chill for a bit, but it kind of looks like, I mean, you're not going to be able to tell, but it looks like it's going to rain. So I might go to the shops now and then I can just chill for the rest of the afternoon after I've, I've ventured out of the house. I did want to say I've been watching The Fosters, which is a show from, I think it was on from 2013 to 2018. So it's over now, but there's a new show that's a spin-off called Good Trouble, which I was about to start watching. And then I realized it was a spin-off show of The Fosters, which I'd never heard of. So I thought I better watch The Fosters first. And I am almost done. I'm midway through season five and there's five seasons. It is a really good show. I don't know if it ever actually was on TV here in Australia, at any point it's on stand now if you're interested and looking for a show to binge watch it's about um a lesbian couple who have adopted some kids or they have one and then adopted some um twins and then they adopt another two children and they're like all teenagers and it's kind of about their life as a family kind of family drama but warm-hearted i don't know i've really enjoyed it and um yeah would recommend if you're looking for a tv show all right i'm gonna grab my bag and make sure my umbrella's in there Okay, go on.
my little shopping expedition. I don't know how successful uh, we would call that one. There was some new stuff in TK Maxx, which is awesome. Still nowhere near as much as there would usually be at this time of year, um, but they are getting more stuff in. I was didn't buy anything. I was tempted by that like skull, um, just the plain one, because the neutral vibes suit, I guess, my general interior decor, but I left it. If I go back and it's still there, then maybe it was meant to be, but I'm finding that most of it is selling and going really quickly. Like there was some ceramic ghosts that I saw on Wednesday that had they been there today, I probably would have bought one, but they weren't there. So um, a lot of the Halloween stuff is selling. I did buy one thing from Big W, which is very like, cheesy corny i don't know but i know my dad will love it so this is kind of something that would go more to my parents house as part of like our indoor outdoor kind of decorations there for actual trick-or-treaters let me pull this all out so it's a skeleton on a toilet yes um a little bit of toilet humor is i don't know a little bit of levity is always needed at this time so let me show you <laughs> Everybody loves a fart joke, right? Um, <laughs> it was $25, which I think is kind of overpriced. Um, but I was sucked in and, and I bought it. So, um, yeah. That, that was the one purchase that came out of that little uh, shopping trip. I am very grateful for the fact that I am able to go browse stores. I know not everybody can do that right now. So, if you can't, I am thinking of you. Uh, as I think, speaking of shopping, I, there is something I remembered. What I saw myself in the mirror and I was like, yeah, I want to show you guys. I have like a new favorite t-shirt. Let me take my jacket off. Um, I'll just chuck it to the side. This one here is from Kmart. It is $9 and I love it. I love this style. I'll untuck it from my short so you can see so it's got a bit of length to it but it's not sort of super long great for tucking in but could be used like you know if you wanted to wear it over tights or something like that it's, it does have a bit of length i like these sleeves it's kind of like a slightly extended muscle tee i've actually sized up to the 12 just because when i was looking for it there was only one 10 left and it had a makeup stain on it so i got the 12 and it was fine they are 100 percent cotton so cotton can shrink and I did end up buying it in a couple more colors, actually. Let me see here. I've got it in, there we go. I've got it in like a dusty rose color. And I've also, somewhere in here, have got it in black. And it comes in kind of like an orange color, I think, as well as uh, like a big blue and white stripe type thing but I just I really loved the silhouette I liked that it kind of wasn't a full arm but it wasn't um it still had like a little bit of coverage and it's got this piece of fabric there so you don't have to worry about your bra showing or side boob or anything like that this sort of cut of shirt I've seen a lot but um for a lot more money <laughs> whereas these like I said nine dollars you can't go past them. I don't think mine really did shrunk. I have shrink, sorry. I have washed it once. So I probably could have gotten the 10, but I could also get away with the 12. I'm seriously tempted to go back and get another one of the white ones just because that's how much I really like it. So don't sleep on this one. I will find you the tag in a second and show you guys if you want to grab it. $9 from Kmart. <laughs> I don't know why I'd set a mind blank them. These shorts are new as well. I just picked these up from the Iconic. I quite like them as well, although they did get me thinking, and I don't know if this is controversial or not, but you know, I'll put it to the group, see what kind of answers we get. Am I, um, or is there an age where you're too old to wear denim shorts? I mean, these are short, they're not short, short. My butt does not hang out of them. There's, there's definitely fabric coverage there. I'm not, I'm not worried about that, but I was thinking, I'm like, I turned 31 this year. 
is there an age where I'm no longer allowed to wear denim shorts? Because I'm, I'm concerned about that because I wear denim shorts a lot in summer. It gets really hot here and on the weekend, like there's not a lot to wear by like denim shorts and a t-shirt. Like that's just comfortable and it's what I'm used to. So yeah, can you let me know if, if I should be worried um, or be concerned about the fact that I'm still wearing shorts and I'm, you know, in my 30s? Let me know. Okay, this is the tag, just so you guys can see. My camera will focus. I really need a new camera. I can't justify one, but I definitely need one. Oh, you know why? Because for some reason it's on manual focus. That's silly. Autofocus, autofocus. There we go. The SS drop shoulder. This is obviously the tag for the black, but there's also the same for the white and the dusty rose color. Oh, while well, I've got my tags, this is another goodbye here. This is a linen midi skirt. I actually get it in the size six. I'm gonna grab it and show you. Um, let me pull it out. Here is the skirt here, $20 from Kmart. You can tell how out of practice I am. Um, Let's pretend that it's on. I would actually wear it with what I'm wearing right now. It has real buttons and elastic waist. It has pockets. You can just see there, which is awesome. It's that kind of midi to long length, really nice breathable fabric for uh, summer. And it's awesome if you, like me, are the kind of person whose waist size does not match their hips and butt size um, so I am very much I have a small waist and a big hips and a lot of people like go for that like they're purposely making their body that shape but let me tell you it's not it's not great for shopping it makes it really difficult because the bottom half of me is like a size 10 to 12 and the top half of me is an 8 if not a 6 sometimes like that skirt with the stretch the 6 fits my waist so if you are a smaller waist, you can shop your waist size, not your hip size, because it's A-line and it's loose and those buttons and the elastic, you can go down a size for your waist and it will still fit around your hips and butt, which I think is awesome. So that one was $20. Like I said, it is the BTN Midi Skirt Pebble STR. But anyway, yeah, that's the tag there. Two great current finds from Kmart Australia. Love them. I almost forgot, I also picked myself up a curly whirly in Big W because what shopping trip is complete without some kind of chocolate snack to come away with. I also just got myself out some chips. These are the new like Smith's oven baked ones, the sour cream and chive flavor. They're delicious. I got them free with my groceries this week because Woolies had a deal if you were like a Woolworths Rewards member. You just had to click boost on the email that they sent you and you got the chips for free. So winning at life. I'm going to take my snacks and probably watch some more of the Fosters. I see I live a very exciting life. <laughs> Three hours later. As you can see, I'm still going on the Fosters. I just had some leftovers for dinner and I've been trying to fix my computer so that I'll be able to edit this footage. I think I've already got quite a bit, so it may be a one day vlog. So I'm going to wrap this up, but before I do, I want to show you guys some of the Halloween decorations. But before I do that, I need to snack fluence you a little bit and I've made dessert. So this is a favorite of mine at the moment. It is a crepe with Nutella and strawberries. Nothing groundbreaking, obviously. I'm still going through a Christmas Nutella. I know my friend Lauren, some of you guys might remember her from uh, Vlogmas videos in the past. She would be horrified if she knew that I was still on the same jar of Nutella since Christmas. It's still in date, so it's okay, but I know that she would like, go through this in two weeks. And with that, it's these crepes. I'm giving you a little glimpse into my fridge. It's these crepes here, the Food Envy ones from Aldi. These are in like a dessert section. They are amazing, highly recommend, great to have in the fridge. You just heat them up in the microwave. Absolutely delicious. And my other snack fluence for you guys. I did not come up with this term by the way. It was um, Lee Campbell. If you don't follow her, she is awesome. I 
yeah, I love her stuff. Um, the other one that I want to share with you is the jelly chip, jelly tip block of chocolate from Whittaker's. This is a New Zealand thing, so all of my New Zealand followers are going to be like, you're so behind. We don't usually have this in Australia. It becomes a, like a limited edition. It has been out before, but it's raspberry flavored jelly in white and milk chocolate. That's my backup block. My <laughs> current block that I'm going through is here. It is so good. So good. Just like the caramel stash that I also have going up here. I know I'm terrible, but I didn't want it to disappear again without um, me having access to it like last time. So yeah, I bought a lot of blocks. Okay. So there are my snack recommendations for you guys. Check them out. Get on board. So good. Halloween decorations to round out this video. This has been all over the shop. I apologize, but I'm, I'm hoping that some of you out there will be watching this with a smile on your face thinking this is this is typical Rachel. In the kitchen I have my radon bowls and um, a couple of pumpkins. This one is actually new this year. I like the check. It's still got the tag on it. It was $9.95 because the stem's got a little bit of green which I'm not a massive fan of but I can probably paint and from far away I like the look of it. So for now this tag is staying on but I think I think we'll keep it little Halloween mug there, my lovely cute little mummy from last year from TK Maxx that's currently holding the Disney Ushies, the ones I've collected from doing my grocery shopping, a little boo sign, my awesome Disneyland Halloween cauldron mug that my friends Tash and Jared bought me back from Disneyland. They went last year at um when it was moved well, just before halloween so when it was decorated for halloween love that so i keep that out so i can use it and then if we come over to my guest bathroom we've got a bunch of these little skeletons that i have had i got them off of ebay years ago and i just hang them everywhere i have a little boo candle which was from tk maxx 90 percent of my stuff is from tk maxx so these both were cauldron and then there's a candle in there as well, which just smells really good. So I just like leave it in there. I don't even need to burn it. If we scooch on here, my lovely pooping skeleton is just going to hang there for a while. But this is my shelves. I shared a photo of this on Instagram recently because not only had I updated them, but then I updated them again for Halloween. I love how this looks. And you guys know me, I love a light up element. So I've actually gone around and turned on anything that lights up. So it's those candles up there from TK Maxx and do light up. And I think a lot of this stuff is TK Maxx. A couple of these things, this was Target last year, Target the year before. Um, that's all TK Maxx. These metal items were from eBay from years ago. But yeah, I actually really love how that all looks together. It's like grown up Halloween. Which makes me very very happy we come over to my media stand this is another new item i saw this and just fell in love um this was 19.95 which is kind of pricey but it is really nice quality and it does play music but i don't know how i'm gonna make that work with one hand so i need a candle from here i just wanted to get like a small one but like a, a electronic one i just don't have one so i need to get something for there a little tree and then my favorite, um, what are these called? Grapevine pumpkins. These were from Target Australia last year. Target doesn't seem to have any Halloween out yet, but I'm hoping that they'll bring these back. And if they do, I'll definitely pick up some more because I love them. That's actually new from TK Maxx this year. More skeletons, more pumpkins. My plant is in a cauldron because why not? It's Halloween, Halloween cushions. Halloween candle. Again, these are all TK Maxx over the last couple of years. Another little light up pumpkin here and I did the sticks myself. They were dead off a tree. I don't know. I think that you know, sticks is very Halloween. <laughs> and then my bar cart, which I've done similar to the previous years, but changed it up slightly. And I really, really love the way that it looks. It's got my little Ray Dunn mug there. Actually, I forgot two of my other Ray Dunn mugs up there. And of course, on my door, I'm backtracking here, but yes, I can drive a stick, which is from TK Maxx last year. And I love it because I do drive a stick. I drive manual. And 
and another pumpkin that lights up my little potions book there that has the little eye like in Hocus Pocus and that is a candle from TK Maxx last year it's a Halloween one as well more Halloween candles and we scooch more skeletons and then of course I even have a little bit of Halloween in my bedroom so I've got that boo cushion which is from TK Maxx for a number of years ago and I forgot to turn this on oh no hold on ah this one is actually stunning I would love some more like that with all the lights inside it because they just I don't know it makes my heart happy every time I see it and I think that's all the Halloween I currently have for now there may be more if there is more <laughs> there'll be more um, I will be sh sure to share with you to say that correctly there's a lot of s sounds there but that's it for this video I think I'm gonna wrap it up I need to hang my towels that the dryers just stopped and I'm gonna watch some more of the fosters I'm probably gonna finish the show tonight which is giving me a great sense of achievement does anybody else feel really accomplished when they finish like a television series let me know in the comments what was the last television series you finished did you feel like you accomplished something when you got to the end yeah cool all right I'm going now if you want to see more of this and me make sure you hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell and you can follow me on instagram as well if you want to see me more regularly yeah i'm gonna go bye guys i realized that the halloween lights would have been more effective had i turned the lights out so here's just a little a little look-see with the lights or well, most of the lights turned out so festive i love it <laughs>